Hello guys, welcome back to Musical Week! All I want is a room somewhere Far away from the cold night air With one enormous chair Wouldn't it be lovely? So quick announcement about Musical Week. I'm only going to be doing like four a year. Basically one every single quarter. Just because it gets really time consuming and I just find that I have less and less time to do like the proper research and filming and editing for it. Also, if you're new to Musical Week, I go very much in depth with these conversations, so there will be spoilers naturally. If you haven't read or seen any of the adaptations and don't want to be spoiled, then maybe come back to this after you've read and seen everything. <laughs> but let's get into Pygmalion and My Fair Lady. So my experience with My Fair Lady and the source material has been quite interesting because whenever it comes to things like this, I like saw My Fair Lady first, and then I found out that it was an adaptation. I watched My Fair Lady, and then I found out that it was based off of a play called Pygmalion by George Bernard Shaw. But then about three or four years ago, I read this book called Bridge to Haven by Francine Rivers, and in that, uh, Pygmalion was referenced, but it wasn't like the play that was referenced, it was the myth that I didn't really know was a thing. To kind of sum up quickly like what that book was about, it was about this girl that um, moved to Hollywood with her boyfriend and then like this other guy uh, basically turned her into a movie star and like kind of shaped her into what like all the Hollywood uh, stars were like at that time and then like she went to his house and found out that he had like a picture of Pygmalion and Galatea on the wall. So it was kind of foreshadowing to show that this man was going to fall in love with her because he kind of created her. So that book is basically how I found out about the myth. So the story of Pygmalion and Galatea is a little segment in the Ovid work Metamorphoses, which is a big long epic poem that ranges from the creation of man to the time of Julius Caesar. And it's basically a series of stories about transformations. So a summation of the myth is that Pygmalion is a man that doesn't like any of the women that he meets. He sees them as flawed and he doesn't think that any of them are any good. He thinks that they're, they're all like immoral and impure and things like that. So what he ends up doing is he makes a sculpture of a woman out of ivory and gives her the name of Galatea and he ends up falling in love with that sculpture. And he would even like lay it down in bed with him and like cuddle up next to it. And one day in his prayers, he basically asked for a wife that was like his woman of ivory because he was very careful about his wording because like he didn't dare hope for that. And Aphrodite uh, heard his prayer and turned his sculpture into a real woman and they get married and live happily ever after. So yeah, the myth like really doesn't take a lot of explaining. It's like really rather short. It's basically like here's this and then here's this and happily ever after. And I think for a long time it was regarded as a great love story. And over time like there were a lot of adaptations. The progress that this myth has kind of taken shape in. <laughs> That's funny. Well, let me say what I was going to say first and then I'll, I'll say what I just thought of. The story progressed from being a love story to being a cautionary tale to being about a standing for women. What's funny is that it was also a story about transformation and the story itself transformed over time. That's what I started laughing about. I think that's it for this video. It's rather short and sweet because the myth itself like doesn't have too much behind it. It just takes up like two pages in the metamorphoses. But I want us to be able to see like the underlying tones of Pygmalion the play and My Fair Lady the musical from knowing the history of the myth. So tomorrow I'll come back to you talking about the play Pygmalion. So I will see you then. Bye!